The more rust, the better right there. The collectors from of antique tractors and other farm equipment will be showing off their toys in Tulare today. John Boyajian is one of them. He's from Dinuba. He's passionate about restoring tractors. He has one that's 98 years old. It was considered high tech way back then. It's oil cooled. They were originally run on kerosene. Running a tractor was a joy compared to running a, 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 a team of horses or mules. Pretty cool. You'll find also some bucking bulls at the California Antique Farm Equipment Show. And we've got Carissa Chapman and Doug Aw here to tell us all about it. Folks, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you guys here. Thank you for um, having us. We know that this is the breadbasket of the world. We're all used to seeing more modern tractors, but we're bringing some old ones to life at this event, right? Tell us about it. Yes, so we have our California Antique Farm Equipment Show going on at the International Agri Center this weekend, starting today all the way through Sunday from 8 to 5 today and tomorrow and 8 to 3 on Sunday, where you can see tractors of all ages from all different eras from 100 years ago all the way to a few more of the current tractors. Look at that metal seat. Imagine riding that all day. I know, right? A bumpy ride, too. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, those days are over. Exactly. <laughs> and now we have the air-conditioned ones with a nice air ride seat. Uh, but this is a little glimpse into the past. It's really cool to see, Doug, how these are the tools that were used to build this area that we live in. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, you got to think back. You know, 40, 50 years ago, your grandparents were driving tractors like that. Now today we have com ones that are computerized and, I mean, heck, you don't even really have to drive them. They drive themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool also to see that they still work. We're talking a century old, some of these things yes. built to last. Yes, right. and these tractors, we have our tractor parade Saturday and Sunday this year at 10 a.m. And you can see tractors, again, very many Old, very aged tractors yeah. that are moving working condition. What else is going on there? Because I hear this is like a big family fun event. This is, I mean, you people of all ages can come out and enjoy the antique show. We have our kids area inside the Corteva Agri-Science Center where we'll have activities. We have um, different activities from all over um, our 4-H is helping us. We have some other local organizations helping to do face painting. We'll have some entertainment on our entertainment stage. We also have our pie eating contest sponsored by Apple Annie's. And we have a milk chugging contest sponsored by Rosa Brothers Creamery. And just lots of fun activities for everybody to enjoy. Also inside, the, um, we'll also have Rusty Roots that we partnered with this year to provide our antique and boutique vendors, our swap meet, our auction. Really anybody of any age can come out and enjoy. And you can also take a tram ride to the Adventures Learning Center and Museum that we have year round at the International Agri Center wow. as well. It's jam packed. A lot it of fun. It is jam packed. La not last, uh, what am I trying to say? Last but not least, <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> Doug, is the Bucking Bulls event. Tell us about the action. So we did it last year in Tulare at the Ag Center for the antique show. We did it outside. Yeah. It turned out really well. Uh -huh. This year we're going to do it indoors in the Dairy Center. So it's going to be super loud with the music, the announcing. We have Ted and Michael Dr music part. We have Charlie Too Tall for <laughs> entertainment, and you don't want to miss him because he's really super funny. And then not only that, we're bringing some of the baddest bulls in the West Coast to this event because this is an event where people are competing for money, for buckle, and points to go on for the ABBI finals in Las Vegas in November at the end of the year. So this is a big deal. It's a qualifying round. Yes, we have to do six events a year to be able to qualify for points and money earned to be able to go to the ABBI finals in Las Vegas. Okay, so what's the goal here for these guys to get on that bull? Well, in the morning at nine, we'll start out with our young bulls, which is our dummy bulls is what we call them. They'll have an electronical box uh -huh. on their back and they stay on for four seconds. It's remotely ran to where we push the button, it falls off the bull's back. Then at one o'clock, we'll start with the rider bulls. These are bulls that you usually see at the PBRs. They just had Bakerfield PBR Velocity Tour last Saturday in Bakersfield. Some of those bulls that were there competing at the PBR will be here this weekend competing at Gold Coast. So these bulls are coming that people think that are the best that they have mm -hmm. to be able to go on to be at the PBR, which is televised event 
and to be able to go to Gold Coast, I mean, the ABBI event in Las Vegas. Really cool. Serious competition. Serious competition. Yeah. All right. All this starting today at the International Agri Center in Tulare. What time does it open? It starts at 8 a.m. today from 8 to 5, and then we have our hot dog and hamburger feed this evening, and then tomorrow again from 8 to 5 with the steak dinner tomorrow evening, and then again on Sunday. All right. Good times out there in Tulare this weekend. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one.